Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the living room as we're about to watch episode three of the series True Blood streaming now on HBO Max. And I gotta tell you, the first two episodes are going off like gangbusters. I am enjoying myself thoroughly. Where, where, where have we left off so far? Uh, Jason's in a cult. No big surprise. Uh, Miss cult leader Anna Camp. A once a bad. She's thirsting. I'm going to call her the Sahara Desert. She is thirsting hardcore for that boy, which can only end in tears. Uh, Lafayette is working. He is working hard to stay alive. And the last time we saw him, he was getting chewed on by Eric and gang. So I'm going to think he's going to either be left for dead and somehow alive or actually turned into a vampire, which would be very intriguing because, because he put his target on the senator and be nice to see that followed through somehow. Tara's also potentially in a cult. <laughs> I don't know what Marianne's deal is. I'm still thinking she's a succubus. We don't know what she wants. Sam's the key to get it, but we don't know what it is yet. And then we have <laughs> Jessica, Going after her family, no surprise, but Bill, Bill kind of roughhousing around with Suki and telling her to shut up and it's all her fault. And I don't think she's going to take that very nicely. So yeah, we left off on quite the cliffhanger and I'm just excited to jump right back into it. So if you haven't yet, huh, hit subscribe and then grab your big cozy blanket, grab your beverage of choice. You know, I got the menage a trois going on here. And uh, let's get to it. No, slow down, please. <gasps> Whose car is he driving? Oh, her car. Okay. So he ran there to them. I'm getting confused on logistics here, but. I hate you so fucking much. Be quiet. I shit. I said be quiet. Oh yeah, and this power he has over Jessica. I'm intrigued by that as well what I'd give to see her again. That does not give you license to behave like an irresponsible child. She is a loaded gun, Suki. Not a doll for you to dress up and play with. Hey. I'd rather walk all night than spend another second in that car with you. But it's your car. <laughs> but it's your car. <laughs> oh, she wants you to go after her. She will come back. When she calms down. What about you, Pumpkin? I think you need a little... <sighs> As my friend Leah does. <sighs> this girl can't go 10 no. feet without something attacking her. <sighs> the fuck is that? I... I... Werewolf, sure, that thing. What is this? I'm <laughs> safe. <gasps> <gasps> Bill, I can't move. Yeah, that sucker probably severed your spine. And you are so lucky he was there for that. Does vampire blood poison her now? Get the car now. How are you gonna knock? Got her. How's he gonna knock? I'm short. Sixty-four dollars and like eight cents. That's like what? Four God, tables? Damn it, Daphne! You're gonna have to pay for it. I'm sorry, but this is a business. That's all the tips that I made tonight. So I'm just gonna have to owe you the rest. I'm just waiting for her to be killed. Let me guess. Marianne say that. What is it with you and Marianne? If I were you, 
I stay the hell away from her. You don't even know this person. Neither do you. Why can't he just tell her? Well, that's right. She doesn't know about him. Her? Yeah, that's right. That's right. What kind of doctor are you? The healing kind. I'm Dr. Ludwig. What's your name? Peggy. <laughs> Am I dying? Yes. No, she cannot die. You will save her. Back off, vampire. <laughs> Let me do my job. Pam, Chow. I thought in over a thousand years I'd seen everything there was to see. Where's Lafayette? Search the woods around Highway 71. He can do it. I'm wearing my favorite pumps. Do you hold a <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> oh man! You better hope that's a cure. So warm. I'm so cold. Pity. Well, this is a turn. Hallucinations. Interesting. Feel real. <laughs> God, please. Please give me another shot. There's your side. Yeah. I'd take that as a sign. That's gonna leave a scar. You can give her blood now. Her body should accept it. <laughs> Eric. Mine is much stronger. Allow me. Never. He's dying to look at that face. <laughs> I want to thank you for your hospitality. And for saving Sookie's life. I'm sure there's a way she can repay me. You've done enough taking care of people to last a lifetime. Holy shit, that's beautiful. <laughs> Is he moving? Where's he going? Hey, so listen, I was hoping you'd take care of the bar for me. Who's gonna cook? Yeah. We need more staff for this. The logistics are hurting my head. I ain't much of a sharing kind of guy. Remember, we all signed a vow of honesty. Are you wearing your honesty ring? You're safe here. I ain't a vampire victim. The fact is, they've never done nothing against me. My sister's dating one, and from everything I can tell, he seems to treat her pretty decent. Well, except for the bite, but I think she likes that. <laughs> A person wouldn't do that, would they? Well, my we grand and my girlfriend were killed by my best friend, and he was a person. A lot of your girlfriends were killed by that dude, dude. Beginning to see that was just wishful thinking. Oh, Jason, wait. Don't leave, I love you. They stole my sister the same way they stole your girlfriend and your grandmother. <laughs> if his kind never existed, the people you love would still be alive. No. No. God, I should have done something to save Grant, Amy. Dawn was the other one. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Well, sometimes I just come in for deliveries, but these days I've been coming in for. Never mind all that. Oh my God, I almost told her about her friend Lafayette in the basement. 
That the iconic ginger scream you all were telling me about. <laughs> oh, love it. You know, um, a couple of days after um, Marianne took me in, she put this guitar in my hands, and I cried like a fucking baby. Part of me wonders if Eggs is real, or if he's just a figment of imagination brought to life. His name is Lafayette, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself for what you've done to him. Oh, 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 oh. He didn't, I'm he wanted that. He wanted that slap. I think he could have dodged it if he wanted to. You're gonna let him go right now? Or I swear, I'm going to the police. I do not respond well to threats. Well, now he's got an infection. So it's okay, Arlene. Just go ahead and get changed. Nice and understanding looks good on you, Sam. But with the shit that goes down in that bar, I think he does pretty well. <laughs> what are you going to order that may or may not be on the menu? How do you know I'm a nice girl? Because of your smile, I guess. <laughs> and she's looking at you like you are delicious. You're a vampire. Wow, that is awesome. A bottle of true blood coming right up. Why am I afraid for them? I'm afraid for them both. I will pay all of your expenses, of course. And yes, I will release your friend. And I want $5,000. Go get it. I've missed a lot of work and I need a driveway. <laughs> Your human is getting cocky. She will take 10,000 and I will escort her. I don't think so. No. Yes. 10,000 and Bill comes with me or it's a deal breaker. Eric will go with you. I will make the travel arrangements, but I will need your credit card number. <gasps> Have Chow fetch their car. Yeah, the car. Back in Bo Tom. The logistics of this makes my head hurt. Because I am trying to figure out, and it's not that important to the story. <laughs> What's in the soup? Here, why don't you stay and relax a little bit? Just one. You are working. I'm on the clock. You know, my wife must think you're pretty special. <laughs> Well, Sarah doesn't whip out her pudding for just anybody. God's got great things in store for you, Jason Stackhouse. Can you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to end in tears. So many tears. And that's why I think we ought to wait, you know. I've waited too long already. <laughs> Don't hurt Hoyt! Mm. The bullet went straight through. I get my uncle to stitch it up in the morning. Uh, Bill, why don't you just give him a wee bit of blood to help him heal? Oh God, is he going to make it in the house and someone's going to be there waiting for him and this would all be for naught because that would just be fucked up. Watch the road. Watch the road. Watch the road. <laughs> when I look in your eyes. He's driving. Let him drive. Don't look into his eyes right now. That's what I see. I don't give a crap what people do with their own body parts, but there's no us. This is your scene. Wow, that's a lot of pink, Bill. 
<laughs> I'm sure Jessica will. Oh yeah, the shopping trip. God, is there blood all over the living room? Please don't let their blood be all over the living room. Meanwhile, Hoyt's dead. Hoyt's dead. <laughs> Whoa! It's okay. <gasps> Bill, don't. Uh, is that alligator infested waters? What's your problem? Alligator infested waters. Sounds like a jerk. He's not all bad. I'm waiting for the alligator to come and bite his ass. So come on in. I was starting to think Daphne might be a something planted there. That or she's gonna be a victim. So what was that Minotauri kind of uh, uh thing? What does it want? What's it doing there? These are good questions I have. Good questions, meaning I want to know more. Not because I'm frustrated, but because I am intrigued. And I hope they answer those in the next episode or two. Then I'll start getting frustrated and annoyed. Fascinating. I'm afraid for Hoyt. Hoyt is too... Hoyt's a little doll that needs to be protected. I just want to protect him like, no punk. And... <laughs> He's a grown man, but still. I just want to protect him. And I still don't get, okay, so this Marianne thing's now dragging on a wee bit too much for me. I want to get down to the bottom of that. But, <laughs> but, here's the thing. Let's say this wasn't a weird succubus influenced in a bad way event. And it was just a regular old orgy. If that's you, you do you, boo. That's what I'm saying. And if that's what Eggs' thing was, then tear it. It's not bad. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Like, I, having her immediately be shut off without having that discussion. Could at least have a discussion before you shut it off completely. However, this isn't a thing. These people's consent are clearly being influenced by otherworldly forces not the same thing but it kind of struck me as her Tara being negative against the whole orgy culture which isn't isn't what was happening conflicting thoughts on that one y'all conflicting thoughts but uh I'm interested to see what happens in Dallas something's gonna go down still don't know what Eric's thing is and how he fits into the overall story arc is he gonna be like uh vying for Suki's affection? Is he just there to throw up obstacles? What is Eric's purpose in the story? Again, I am intrigued and I want to know more. And that's the biggest thing you want when you're telling a story is you want people to go, I want to know more and be excited for whatever comes out next. And I am, I'm enjoying this season way more. I'm thinking not way more, but I am enjoying it more than season one. And I think it's just because they're throwing interesting things at me. But yeah, so there we go. Episode three, down, ready for more. And I'm so glad that you're here with me on this journey because I do appreciate oh so much. And your comments are killing me, y'all. They are killing me. So I do hope to see you again sometime in the future. And then, uh, yes, <laughs> that wine was really good. So yeah. Until next time, y'all. Bye.